Well, hello everybody. Thanks for tuning in to my channel, Farm Fish Hunt Eat. If you like what you see at the end of this video or after watching some of my others, feel free to hit the thumbs up button or leave me a comment. I appreciate it. It's uh, the first weekend in March and I'm heading out for a little walk today uh, in the forest behind my property to do a bit of rabbit hunting. Well, snowshoe hare, I guess they are, where I live. I'm bringing my trusty 20 gauge shotgun. I don't hunt a lot of rabbits. I used to set the odd snare, but it's a lot of work to check them every day. And population numbers haven't been great from what I've seen over the years so they have a pretty good fair chance when I'm hunting because I only go out probably three times a year and as I said I'm only using a shotgun and most times it's a time of day when well rabbits really aren't out it's about 1.30 right now in the afternoon. But on sunny days like this, the odd time, if you're walking along, you'll catch a glimpse of one on a tree line, soaking up some sun rays. So that's kind of typically where I've always gotten my rabbits when I get them. But I haven't even been able to uh, harvest one now. I think it's been two years. But like I said, that kind of reflects the effort I put into it. But anyway, tag along. I had seen some tracks around my pond. I'm not gonna venture too far because I don't have snowshoes on. I just wanna see how crusty the snow is. It had been quite cold, so it shouldn't be terrible. Be able to stay on top of it. There's some tracks there. I don't know if that's my dog from when he was in the garden possible. There we have some squirrel tracks. What a glorious day. The sun is beautiful. Lots of snow this winter. Now that is a big paw print. And that looks like coyote to me. It's a bit sunken down, so I can't tell the exact pattern. It's a good size. What a beautiful day. Okay. Now there you see a rabbit track, but it's old because it's been melted and sank into the snow. There's the two hind feet, and that's where their front feet go when they're hopping along. They're mostly out at nighttime or before sunrise, which is why snaring is your most efficient way of catching them because this doesn't look like a rabbit run at all. It's just a random rabbit hopping through the forest. And there are no runs around here I could show you. Typically you'll find them in a patch of willow or alders because they chew on the bark. 
Well, as I said, I'm not having any luck and I may turn back. And just as I said it, I stepped in a hole that's up to my waistline. Probably because I'm close to this tree and when you're around trees, they're usually hollow at the bottom. The snow is anyway. And makes it not so much fun. <sighs> Newton sure is enjoying the outdoors today. Rolling around in the snow. <laughs> it looks like so much fun. A head like thick fur like you, hey? Yeah. Oh, you good boy. Oh, you good boy, Newton. <laughs>